If you own an iPhone, there are five settings you need to turn off right now. These are draining your battery, tracking your location, and slowing your phone down. And Apple's not really doing a good job of telling you about it, so I will. Let's get started. All right, so your iPhone pretty much saves and tracks everywhere you go. And what you're seeing here is a list showing these locations. This not only invades your privacy, but it also uses battery and storage. So my suggestion is to turn it off. First thing you need to do, open up the settings application. Scroll down and you wanna find the privacy and security section. From here, we're gonna tap on location services. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna tap on system services. From here, once again, we're gonna scroll almost all the way down and you'll see a section here called significant locations. It's on by default on the iPhone. When we tap on it, it will prompt you to use face ID or enter your passcode. And it'll take you to this page right here and you can see 378 records, a map and a list that when I tap through shows me those locations. But my suggestion, clear this history here, give it a few seconds, and then turn off significant locations, tap turn off to confirm it, and you should be good to go. The next privacy settings we're going to turn off are the analytics and improvements. So for this, again, we're gonna open up our settings, we're gonna scroll down to where it says privacy and security. This time we're going to scroll all the way down here and we wanna find the option that says analytics and improvements. Tap on that. Now by default, your iPhone sends Apple and app developers a constant stream of data about how you use your iPhone. This isn't really helping you, but it is draining your battery. So you wanna turn off everything in this section. Mine was turned off by default because when I set up my iPhones, I always decline these options. So turn them off to protect your privacy and save some battery. For the next iPhone privacy tip here, we're gonna look at push mail. So for this, we're going to open up our settings once again here. This time we're going to go to the mail section. Now Apple moved things around a little bit here. So you have to go to the bottom and tap on apps. I would just search up here for mail. It's a little bit faster and easier. Tap on your mail here. Tap on mail accounts and fetch new data right here. We have push enabled and some of these here are set to push. Now push mail means that your phone is going to constantly be checking for new emails, which is fine for some, but it drains the battery quite a bit. So you can switch them to fetch as I have a few here just by tapping, choosing fetch or manual. And when you do choose fetch, you can even set a timer down here. So every 15 minutes, it's going to fetch for the new information. And if you do really need those instant updates for specific things, those are the ones you should leave on push. For the next iPhone tip here, we're gonna open up our settings once again. We're gonna scroll down just a bit and we wanna find the privacy and security once again. This time we're gonna tap on tracking and by default, allow apps to request to track is on. So this means anytime you open up different apps, they'll request your permission to track and you can read right here what it does. But for me, this one is huge. It stops the apps from tracking your behavior across other apps and websites. If you care about your privacy, just turn it off right now and you don't have to worry about doing it every time you download a new app. The next iPhone tip is in the settings once again. This time we're actually going to tap on general and then we're gonna tap on the background app refresh section right here. As you can see, I have pretty much all my apps turned on here with background app refresh. I've got on right here. And what that means is that these apps can update themselves in the background even when you're not using them. This eats up your data, drains your battery, and slows your iPhone. Either turn this off completely right here or set it to Wi-Fi only, or you can even select which applications you want to have this on with. This will help you save some battery and improve the performance of your iPhone, especially if you have tons of applications like me. Now, if you've done all of these steps here, your iPhone should be a little bit faster and definitely be more private. You'll probably notice better battery life today. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, 
and on social media. And don't forget to subscribe for more iPhone tips like this one. Comment below which setting you didn't know about, and I'll see you guys in the next one.